Hey there guys. So today I'm going to quickly show you how you can get access to Polygon no matter your location, even if you're in an area where Polygon is not available. Now, the first thing that you have to do in this case is get a VPN because that's what you want to do in order to change your virtual location. Essentially, if I go to what is my IP address, you'll notice that it says I'm in the Netherlands, not because I'm physically there. Well, I'm just virtually there using a VPN here. This one is called ExpressVPN. It's what I like to personally use on the daily basis. I'll talk about it a little later on. But essentially, once you've downloaded and installed a VPN, let's just say you got Express. I'll make sure to link it in the description below. But once you've downloaded and installed the VPN, you'll have the application and it looks a little something like this. Most VPNs will look similar to this. ExpressVPN specifically is quite a bit simple. Essentially, you want to go to locations. Let's just say you're in the States. You're realizing it's not in the States. In this case, let's just go with Spain, for example. So when I'm connected, all I have to do is just refresh this. What is my IP address? And you'll see that now I'm in Spain. So when I go to a poly market, it'll also think that I'm in Spain. And so let's say if you were in an area where poly market was just unavailable or you don't have access to it, the way to get access to it is by again, using a VPN. Now, it's not as restrictive as other online gambling apps like DraftKings and FanDuel, which run extensive KYC and location checks to make sure that you're in the right betting spot. Now, a simple VPN, again, will get you around any of those restrictions that you might be facing. And so far, there are no issues whatsoever with using a VPN with Polymarket and it works really well. Now, when you're creating your Polymarket account, make sure that your VPN is on before you create the account. And that's only if you don't have an account. Otherwise, just turn on your VPN and make sure that it's also installed on your phone. ExpressVPN also is available on the phone. By the way, there are other options like NordVPN and Surfshark, which work really, really well. And I'll leave all the links that are useful in the description down below, including reviews and discounts for the other VPNs. But once you've gone yourself the VPN on your phone and your computer. And I say the phone because it's a little bit easier to trade on Polymarket on mobile. From there, you want to download a crypto wallet like MetaMask and buy some cryptocurrency on exchange like Coinbase, if you don't have it already, or maybe MEXC, and then send the USDC from the exchange, let's just say MEXC, to your wallet on MetaMask or Phantom, for example, and then move your money into your Polymarket account using USDC from MetaMask or Phantom. I personally like to use MetaMask for specific things like that. And anything that has to do with Solana, I like to go with phantom but that's just my personal preference and the way i've got things set up here i'm pretty sure you'll have your own configurations but after that you can just start making trades and you're good to go on polymarket again it's incredibly easy if you don't have access to polymarket simply download a vpn that works well and i've chosen express specifically because well it's one of the safest vpns out there and it's super quick, especially if I want to connect and disconnect. You'll see here that if I want to connect to Netherlands, for example, it'll connect in almost less than a second. So how well it works is honestly one of the main reasons why I like to use Express, not to mention that it's been tried multiple times. It's been verified by auditing companies like KPMG and PricewaterhouseCoopers and so on and so forth. For more information on Express or Nord or Surfshark for that matter, I'll leave it all in the description down below. I don't want to make this video any longer. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, also put them in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.